So happy you could come along. We are joined, as always, by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, the group including Blue Jacket opening soon. Shall That's we talk right. about... Uh, it's good yeah. to see you, by the way, yeah, first yeah, good of to all. See you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before we get to what's on tap this week, uh, big things on tap for uh, you and the NRG. That's right. Um, so Blue Jacket, after uh, many, many months and years, is actually going to be opening um, this uh, coming week. So next week, uh, it looks like Tuesday, we're opening right? Tuesday. Yep. So? All right. Tuesday, uh, and it's going to be uh, amazing. Obviously, a little distracted by it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we are just finishing up our last minute preparations, um, getting the space looking sp uh, nice and clean and ready to go. Uh, everything's coming together. All the beers are ready. They're tapped and ready to, ready to rock on that. So um, yeah, it looks like uh, it's coming up, uh, coming up now. And so I think it was only appropriate to feature the final beer that we did in collaboration prior to the opening off-site at another brewery's uh, facility. So one of the cool things I think about Blue Jacket is that we made collaboration a hallmark of our program uh, from, from over a year before we actually will have opened. And, uh, and it just kind of, by happenstance, uh, we ended up with 20 distinct collaboration beers done with breweries um, all over the country That's and even great. in Belgium. And Suede, uh, our collaboration with Stone Brewing Company and Ten Barrel Brewing Company, uh, ends up being the 20th uh, collaboration, which is a nice sim uh, symmetry because we're going to open with 20 of our own Blue Jacket beers on draft. So it's Ten Barrel and Stone? Yeah, so those, two those different, yeah, the two different, Stone Brewing Company does a lot of collaborations uh, as we do, and we're honored to be a part of this one, of course. Uh, Megan Parisi, who's the brewmaster for Blue Jacket, had talked to Mitch Steele, who's the brewmaster for Stone, uh, way back when, about trying to get a, a collaboration together, and then it got scheduled, which was really exciting. But Stone always likes to do their collaborations in three ways. So it then came down to finding, you know, who's the, the third brewer, brewer and brewery going to be? And one of Megan's best friends in the industry is a fantastic brewer uh, named Tanya Cornette. And she's with Ten Barrel Brewing Company in Portland, Oregon. So all three of them are friends and they decided to come together and do um, uh, this very cool beer. And it's a porter. It is. Um, it's a Imperial good little porter. Imperial porter, uh, about 9.6% 9 9 alcohol. Um, and mm. it's, uh, it's seasoned. But you smell right, right in the nose, just this really nice dusting of like kind of floral spice. Mm -hmm. We use some uh, calendula flowers, which are an edible flower, um, actually many of which were grown um, in the stone gardens at the brewery, because this is brewed at Stone in Escondido, um, California, Southern California, near San Diego. Um, and this gives it that kind of perfumed floral note, little sweet leaf up front, and then also some jasmine. And then avocado honey was, was used in the brewing too, but that honey is, 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 a lot of it's fermented out for the alcohol. So there's a little bit left, there's a little touch of a kind of, um, again, another kind of floral honey quality to it. Very unique. I mean, that, those spices that you mentioned uh, really balance nice against the maltiness of the porter. And it's still very big too, but it's an imperial porter rather than an imperial stout in its mouthfeel, its texture, um, its flavor profile. So it's got a, a nice kind of creamy, silky texture on the palate. Still has lots of, of roasted cocoa notes, hints of espresso, but it's not um, intensely or emphatically dry and or you know dark chocolatey or, or really, really charred or anything like that. It's very, very smooth. I've seen it around town all over the place. So it's out there for people yeah, to yeah, try. Yeah, it's definitely out there. It's got national, uh, it's a national release, which is really great for Blue Jacket, you know, getting our name out there again. And right. um, so you'll see it around town on draft uh, and also uh, in bottle. Good well. one to lay down. Yeah, it can. It definitely can work to lay this down. Um, although you will pretty quickly lose that the 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 the, the seasoning quality, okay, the flowers that. and the, yeah. the jasmine, the calendula flowers are going to go away. So you won't get as much of that over time. But the the roasty notes will mellow. You'll get a really nice bit of oxidation coming in. It'll become toastier. It'll become nuttier. It'll almost have a port like quality. It can even become fruitier over time. So I would say to definitely drink it now. And maybe maybe uh, age a, a bottle or two just to see what happens. What would you pair it with? So this beer, uh, it, you know, it's big, it's bold, it's roasty, but it's it's got that nice smoothness to it. So you could do this with. Um, you don't just have to leave this for the end of the meal with dessert or something like that. Um, this would be a great one to have a cigar with, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. Speaking of of the end of the meal, but I like this uh, with all sorts of 
you know, beef stews, things that are rich, hearty, goes awesome with chili. It's kind of a perfect autumn like football beer. We can do um, uh, lamb chops, uh, I'm thinking ribs of any kind, um, especially you get like a, a sweet, spicy rib sauce bouncing against that kind of peppery roast here would be really nice as well. Okay. You got a question for Greg about beer making, what they might be making down the road at Blue Jacket. Let us know, pass it along. The email address is beeroftheweek at wtop.com. Good luck with Blue Jacket. Thank you. Yeah, so it's, it's exciting. Opening, it's it's the 29th. Yeah, October 29th. All right, check it out. Right down by Nats Park, great location. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please do always drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.